Hello, my name is John Ryden. In this presentation, I will help you understand the day-to-day -day operations of business in Australia and go over key points that will help you relate to their business customs. I will be discussing greetings, attire, punctuality, communication, and meals. This information will help your software business as you plan to expand operations to Australia. The first thing I will be discussing is greetings. Australian business people are more relaxed in most cultures when it comes to greetings. A handshake and a nice expression is a good way to greet someone. Be sure to initiate eye contact as it shows active involvement. As similar to our American culture, introduce yourself and ask for your counterpart's name if it is your first time meeting. It's okay in Australia to use someone's first name even after meeting them for the first time. They will also address you by your first name. It's important to remember not to mimic their cultural greetings. They will often say, G'day, as a greeting, but they will expect you to use the American greeting, Hello. Next, I will discuss the typical Australian business attire. Australians are known for dressing conservatively. Men will typically wear dark suits with white shirts and a tie. Women may also wear a modest suit. They also commonly wear a dress or a skirt and blouse. In contrast to their greetings, Australian business men and women will dress more business formal than business casual. The next topic I will cover is punctuality in an Australian business environment. The workday typically begins at 8.30 or 9.30 and will end at 4.30 or 5.30, with an hour lunch break. As in the United States, the regular work week is Monday through Friday. Although Australians are known for a more laid-back lifestyle, they are very punctual when it comes to business. If you want to meet with someone, you must make an appointment, no matter what the conversation is about. Being casually late does not fly in the Australian work environment. Inform the person or group you're meeting with if you will be late. Deadlines are set in stone and expected to be met in Australian workplace. Australians take work seriously. Workers often work overtime, as Australia is one of the countries with the longest working hours. In addition to these topics, there are many communication aspects that vary from the United States norms. Communication is essential in creating strong business relationships. English is the spoken language in Australia. They have slang, as we do in the States, but one should not try to use their slang. It comes off as rude and mocking. Australians are very friendly people, but in business, they are not afraid to tell you how it is. They will be very direct. Opinionated discussions are common. People are not afraid to voice their opinions. Lastly, I will discuss business meals in Australia. Business meals are not common in Australia, as they are in the United States. They prefer to meet with clients in the office environment. If a meeting does take place over a meal, it will be very short and directly focused on conducting business. Bringing and receiving gifts in the Australian business culture is seen as bribery and is not permitted. Consuming alcohol is only appropriate during special occasions. You should never feel forced to drink and should avoid drinking more than the host or business leaders if you do. The concepts, the concepts I discussed in this presentation are very important to use when conducting business in Australia or when hosting Australian business people in the United States. These guidelines go over what is the most common in Australia, but there are always exceptions depending on the person, company, or event. Thank you for listening to my presentation on Australian business culture. I hope this helps your software company expand operations in Australia.